हेलो पाइथन स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस मोर अबाउट रेंज एंड आल्सो वी विल सी अ डिफरेंट वेरिएशन ऑफ फॉर लूप लेट्स स्टार्ट विद रेंज फॉर एक्स इन रेंज 10 प्रिंट एक्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अ सिमिलर कोड एंड यू ऑल नो द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस कोड इट विल प्रिंट नंबर्स फ्रॉम 0 टू 9 व्हाट इफ आई वांट टू प्रिंट नंबर्स फ्रॉम 1 टू 10 वंस अगेन you know the code we will change it as 1 comma 11 it will print numbers from 1 to 10 so far it's all good let me phrase one more question by adding one condition into this particular program i want all the odd numbers from 1 to 10 we can always write this if condition if x mod 2 not equal to 0 print x this will give us all the odd numbers between 1 to 10 which is absolutely correct but instead of writing this if condition there is alternate way with which we can change something over here in range and we can get the required odd numbers between 1 to 10 let's see what that change is let's remove this and that change is we can add one more parameter over here called step. In this case, we want only the alternate numbers between 1 to 10, which means this R step is plus 2. So, if we give value 2 over here, then it will print 1, then it will directly jump to 3 because the step is 2, then 5, then 7, and then 9 which is the expected output. Let's execute and see. As you can see, we are getting the expected output. Now let's see what happens when we give these three parameters to this range. First parameter is considered as starting point. Second parameter is considered as ending point. And the third parameter is considered as step, which means Computer will start from 1 and it will go till 11 minus 1. This is something we already know. But while incrementing from 1 to 11 minus 1, every time it will increment the value by 2 because that's the step value we have written over here. Similarly, we can write it 3, then it will give 1, 4, 7 and 10 as expected. This time, it once again started from 1, but now instead of making it 2, the computer will start from 1 and then for a second iteration, it will increment the value by 3. So, 1 plus 3, it will, you will get 4. Next time, again plus 3, again plus 3. This is how the complete range function executes. As in, range has three parameters all the time. Even if we provide only two values or even a one value, internally it considers three values. Now you must be wondering how that happens. For example, earlier we were executing a code which was printing numbers from 1 to 10. In this case, the computer was taking the default value for that third parameter step and the default value for that parameter is 1. Now, still it will print the same output. Similarly, when we were executing a code like this with a single parameter, at that time the output was numbers from 0 to 9. In this case, computer was considering the default value for start which is first parameter as 0 and once again the default value for step as 1. We will get the same output. Based on these experiments, we can comfortably say that range has three parameters. First, it's start, it's an optional parameter and its default value is 0. Second, it's end, it's a mandatory parameter, hence it do not have any default value. And the third one is step. Again, 
it's an optional parameter and its default value is 1. But what if I want to print numbers in a reverse order, in a decreasing order? Let's say right now I'm printing numbers from 0 to 9. Instead of that, what if I want to print numbers from 9 to 0? Is it possible using for loop, using this range? Yes, of course it is possible. We have to make small change in the parameters of range. If we want to print numbers from 9 to 0, then starting point has to be 9. What about the ending point? We know always the end should be one number higher than the place where we want to stop our iteration. Now the expected iteration is supposed to print 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That means we are supposed to stop at 0. In this particular range, what comes after 0? That's minus 1. Hence, it will be minus 1. What about step? In this case, we are not incrementing. We are actually decrementing the value. Hence, step should be minus 1. What do you think? This particular code will give us the expected output or not? Let's try. As you can see, we are getting numbers from 9 to 0 as expected. Similarly, we can again make it minus 2 to get all odd numbers in the reverse order. Therefore, we can conclude that range has three parameters and same range can be used to get values in descending order as well. Moving to next point which is for loop without range. Now you must be wondering how that is even possible. So far, we have seen so many different examples of for loop, but all those examples use this particular range. Then how it is possible to write a for loop without using range? And the answer is, there is a way to write a for loop without range, which is sometimes called as for each. You have seen a similar for loop in computational thinking. Let's try that. Let's look at this particular code. We have declared one variable called country and the value is India. Then for letter in country, print letter. First, let's execute the code and then we will see how exactly it works. It is printing the entire string one character at a time. So how exactly it works? This particular for loop goes through the entire string which is stored in variable country character by character which means the first value which is stored in variable letter is capital I. For next iteration the value for variable letter will be updated to N. In third iteration it will become D. In fourth iteration, it will become i. In fifth iteration, it will become a. As there is no letter after a in this particular variable, that's the place the loop will stop. This code is similar like printing these print statements, where we are saying country of 0, country of 1, country of 2, 3 and 4. Country of 0 will print i, country of 1 will print n and so on till a. These 5 lines of code can be converted into 2 simple lines using this special feature of for loop which is called as for each. A for loop will execute for each letter or a character in the given string. It is very easier to write a code like this and also it has many different advantages which we will explore in upcoming weeks. Thank you for watching this lecture. Happy learning.